Hey everybody, so today I am super, 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 super excited for this Forever 21 haul. I have a huge, huge haul and I don't think I've ever went to one clothing store on one trip and spent this much money. So it's definitely a big deal to me and I'm probably not going to buy any more clothes because this is pretty much my summer shopping even though I got mainly jewelry and winter clothes. It's really odd. But anyways, um, I think a lot of the stuff went to Japan. I don't know if you guys remember but Forever 21 had a day where it was like 100 of the profits, 100% of the profits go to the Japan. I think it was March 18th or something. But um, I ordered it like three days afterwards, but I still got a sticker, like a note thing. It was like, thank you for your generous donations to Japan. So I'm assuming this money went to Japan as well. So um, that's really good. I'm so glad I could do something to help. I am super, super, super excited. Oh my god. I was going to say OMG double HKP. But anyways, um, I am so, so, so excited in case you can tell already. Um, I had to refilm this. I just got this. I was checking UPS, the tracking, like the whole day. I was like, oh my god. When is that ever gonna get here? But it just got here like 30 minutes ago. I had a, I filmed this once, but then I had to like open the wrapper because there was like a wrapper around everything because I ordered it online. So then that just w took way too long here. Let me show you guys. This is like an Apple case and I have all my accessories organized in there. So yeah, hopefully this time it won't take me 30 minutes to go over all this stuff. Um, but oh, oh, by the way, let me know if you guys like, because everything I got pretty much is not cotton. And on the Forever 21 website, everything that's not cotton pretty much needs to be dry cleaned or hand washed. Obviously, I'm not going to dry clean it. But um, if you have machine washed a shirt from Forever 21 that tells you to hand wash it, like does it work? Is it really bad? Like do I have to follow the directions strictly because normally I try to follow them but seriously I'm not going to hand wash everything um especially in the summer when I'm going to be wearing a lot of these items so let me know if you've hand washed it I mean if you've machine washed it before because I don't want to damage everything you know because I like these things a lot so let me know anyways um First thing I got, everything I got is in a medium. But anyways, I got this tanked up. It's actually from Heritage 81. It's just like a faded old looking. It's actually really pretty long. This was a 90. Um, it's really long, as I said. So I really like the look of a really long tank top. And then you have like denim shorts peeking out underneath. But you can only see a little bit. So it looks like you're not wearing shorts, but you are. Like, I don't know. I think this would look really cute, like as a beach cover up as well with like shorts in this so I really like that and that was super inexpensive and then I got the sweater which I don't even know why because it's summer but I don't know I really liked it and um it's just like very loose um this was 1580 it's just striped pretty simple self-explanatory I really like it when like the sleeves and the body of the shirt has like different like this is like vertical and then this is horizontal I really like that mixed striped look. I don't know. I like that. And then I got these shorts which um, I think Doshi Candy 87 also mentioned in her video. In her haul. Um, they have the band on the side. The elastic. And then they have like a belted bow right here. And then these look like um, a skirt. But they're shorts. And then I just think these are really cute. These are actually sold out. I checked this morning. Um, so yeah. Maybe they'll come back in stock. But this was um, $15.80. Then I got this really cute floral top and this was $14.80 and this is a medium as well it has like some ruffles in the front if you can see um, it's just a really cute floral pattern I think this would look really nice tucked into some shorts with a brown belt uh, I got this dress which looks like this it doesn't look as bright as it does on camera it's a little bit more of a subtle pink but it could be like really formal with like um, the ruffles kind of here, but then you could dress it down with like a cardigan over it during the fall. I think that would just look so cute. Um, but this is what that looks like. It has an elastic at the waist and then just, yeah, um, this was only $13.50. I thought that was pretty good for a dress. Um, and then I got a skirt and this was only $8.50. Um, this is what it looks like. I actually don't have many skirts because I always thought they were so awkward to style. But I'm really into like high-waisted skirts right now. I really like those. I kind of wish this was a little bit longer so I could pull it up higher. I really like this anyway. It's a really cute print. And then I got this shirt which is also stripes. I think this will look really cute tucked into those shorts. Um, but anyways, it also has like, you know, the different direction of the thing. And then the sleeve kind of get tinier and it's a quarter length sleeve. This shirt was $13.80. Yeah, I really like this. It feels really soft, and I believe this you have to, like... It's navy, by the way. I don't know if you could tell. Um, but this is um, hand washing, too. Because it's spandex and uh, viscose, whatever that is. But, yeah. I got this 
crop top. It's not that cropped because it doesn't look that cropped. It looks pretty long. It's like the faded old um, look and it's see-through so I have to wear something. This will look really cute over a bikini. It also has that different um, stripe direction. It's also kind of like quarter sleeve. It will look really cute like rolled up and then yeah that's ba basically what it looks like. I'm gonna see if I could wear this off the shoulder a little bit. Then I got a sports bra because I just wanted one. It just looks like this is, it's not as neon in real life as it is on camera, but whatever. Um, and it has padding inside, and this was $4.50. I don't know if this is weird, but I like to wear like an actual bra inside my sports bra. Do any of you guys do that? Like, I don't know. I just don't like wearing a sports bra by itself. That's kind of random. Next I got this top, which I'm really excited about. This was only $6.80. I don't know if I told you guys the price of this, but this was th 6 Oh my god. Wait, wait. Oh no, this wasn't. Okay, my bad. Wrong tag. Um, this was $13.80. I don't know if I told you guys that. But um, this is really cool because it's asymmetrical. So one side is actually longer than the other at the bottom, if you can see. And then um, the sleeves, the side is like, the sleeves are placed higher than the side because it's supposed to be off the shoulder. Um, so it's like a really cool, like, tilted look. I really like it. Okay, so then I got this tunic shirt in medium too. And this looks, oh my god, it looks like an extra large. Look at this. It's really humongous, like, I mean, it's not supposed to be form-fitting, but seriously, this is not a medium, like, it's like twice the size of me. But anyways, um, this was pretty inexpensive too, I think. This was 880 yeah. And I've seen a lot of color block, like this part, like this is called a color block tunic. Tunic. I've seen a lot of that on the Forever 21 website. I don't know if that's really in or what, but um, yeah, hopefully it won't fit this big. Anyways, next I got a, oh my god, this is crazy, because this sweater is like crazy thick. It is so thick, guys. You have no idea. Um, I really like the sleeves because it, it's like the huge, it's like connected, well, yeah, duh, it's connected, but, um, it's like, it's like almost connected to the bottom of the sweater and then it gets really tiny. It has buttons on the front. And then this was, um, it says on the tag that it was $24.80, but I got it for $8.99, so. All the tops I got, and this is like the sticker that I was talking about for Japan or whatever. So, yeah, so it went to Japan, I think. I hope it did. But, um, yeah. These are aviators. Um, sorry, I'm blocking you. Um, but that's what they look like. It's 100% UV protection. I really like aviators. You can't really tell how they look on me because I have my glasses on. But, yeah. They don't look that good with my glasses on, but I don't feel like taking them off. Anyway, for a while I thought aviators were like the ugliest thing ever, but I really like aviators now. And next I got a double braided headband. It's just pretty simple like that. And I thought this would be nice if I, um, to put behind my bangs, like right here. And then like tease my hair a little bit, maybe. I don't know. This was 150 Oh, by the way, the sunglasses were 580 Okay, then I got this belt. This is actually in the small and medium size. This was $5.80. Um, I wanted it for my waist. Like, if I were to, like, cinch up, like, a really loose shirt. Honestly, this one, it doesn't really matter that much. Because there's no, like, holes in it. Like, you could really stick the, like, this thing um, anywhere you want in this belt. So, it's really adjustable. And I really like this pattern. It's just the brown belt very simple um i got three rings i got this one which was 280 and it's just a very vintage looking ring um it's got that pattern and the stone i really like these stones um this is in a size seven and then i got this ring which i really like this is actually a stretchy ring believe it or not i really don't like stretchy rings um but this is 580 it's more expensive but I really like these vintage looking necklaces. I mean, rings, I've been really into them. And then I got this one, which was 480. That's what it looks like. It's super intricate and cute. It has like crystals and I just really like it. It has roses too. Okay, and then I got a set of bracelets and I don't really like these. They don't look as good as I thought. They're just like really cheap beater ones that look like they're about to break every sec any second. Um, these kind of match the rings I got. They don't look as light as they do on camera. They are actually very like neon and intense like teal color. Yeah, and now onto necklaces. I got this one which um, it has 
a uh, flower right there. It's like teal colored and then it has crystals in the middle and that has this leaf stone which actually feels really cool and then it has that pearl and this was 280 okay and then i got a just a cross it just has crystals all over it this was 150 i thought it was pretty inexpensive and then i got this one which i really like it's like a bird and this is 150 as well okay this next one is 150 as well this is super adorable it's actually a locket let me see if i can open it yeah it actually opens it's super tiny look at that it looks kind of rusty and dirty. I really like that look. I don't know if it's supposed to look like old, but I really like that. It's got that really intricate print carving. And then on the back, it's kind of, as you can see, dirty, like black and rusted. I really like that look. I think it looks really vintage. I don't know. I just like that old look. I This is probably the most, yeah, it's the most expensive accessory that I got. This was $680, um, but this is so pretty. It's more like a choker. Um... And that's what that looks like. It just has flowers. And yeah, it's like violet and peach. And then um, it's just really short, as I said. So it just sits um, up here. And I think that would just look really nice with like a really nice dress. I got the super tacky looking pearl. This was only 150 so I was like, well, why not? Obviously, you could tell this is fake because who, I mean, these are like humongo pearls. And then I got this one, which it's a whistle, and this was uh, 280 and for some reason this reminds me of Juicy Couture. I don't know why. It's just a whistle and it's crystallized. And then I got this really cute thing. It's also 280 It's like a little doll. I love it. It's so cute. And this is 150 and it's just a teapot. I thought that was cute. Everything pretty much I thought was cute. That's why I got it. I got this one which was 280 It's a really cute bow and it's crystallized. Everything I got has like crystals on it. I don't even realize that. Super small heart which also kind of reminds me of Juicy Couture. This was 150 as well and it has crystals all over it. Surprise, surprise. Um, XX makeup is cool. XX just did a haul on this today. Um, and I just saw it and I thought, oh my god, that was so cute, I should have gotten it. But then I actually did get it, I didn't even remember. It's like a little cameo. And then it had, um, crystals all around it and then it has a pearl and another crystal. I really want, like, a big cameo on the clus. I really like those. The one that Elle, all the glitters, was wearing in their, um, contest, Louis Vuitton contest. I got this one, which was also 150 And it's like a, oh, my bad, it's like a tape. And it also have crystals on it. You get the idea. It's really cute. It's just... All these are like 16 inch chains. They're just standardized. Um, I was going to say standardized tests. Um, they're just standard necklaces. Um, and I got this one which is a little bit longer. Um, this was 280 and it's a purse. And it also has crystals on it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but I think these are really cute. And it's having trouble focusing obviously. So yeah, there we go. It's really pretty. Oh, and then I got this pretty owl necklace. This was $280. Um, and it has, it's super, like, cool looking. It's, like, black jewel. It's kind of creepy. Um, I will not put this on my nightstand. And then I got this one, which was the lamest purchase. I mean, it was $150. But seriously, these are, like, the kind of mirrors that you get in a Happy Meal that you can't really, like, see yourself clearly. But you could still, like, they're still considered a mirror. And, um, it's just, it looks really cheap to me. It looks like it's about to fall out halfway, like, look at that. Can you see the mirror? It's, like, about to fall out. It's ridiculous. And this is really adorable as well. It's, um, it's a little flower with a crystal in the middle and the pearl and then a separate crystal. And this was 150 Okay, so I forgot to show this necklace, but, um, it was 150 as well. Um, it just has, like, a little charm, heart, and then it has a rose, which I think is super cute, and then it has a little pearl again. I didn't get anything that was, like, more than $16, I don't think. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go now, and I can't wait to try on this stuff. Uh, let me know how you wash your Forever 21 clothing that they tell you to hand wash it. I don't want to hand wash it either, and I don't want to ruin it in the machine, so... <sighs> This is a hard choice. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yes, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye.